In this video, you'll see how to create and apply bibliographic field strings, text strings, and constant data in WorldShare Record Manager. Field strings, text strings, and constant data can help you avoid rekeying frequently used information when you create or maintain bibliographic records. Can also help you develop and maintain standards for certain collections or for specific types of resources. And when you need to add specific text fields, subfields, or fixed field elements to multiple bibliographic records. We'll first take a look at field strings and text strings. Field strings consist of a single field that includes the tag, the indicators, and the subfields, and all the data in the subfields. Text strings include just text, for example, a phrase to be inserted into a field. They cannot include tags and indicators. However, you can include a delimiter symbol and a subfield code. One way to create a field string is when you're viewing a bibliographic record, go to the field that you'd like to create a field string for. For example, I'm scrolling down to the 504, includes bibliographic references and index. Click in the field, and then you can either go to the top edit menu and go to field, create field string, or while you're in the field, you can right click and then go to field, create field string. You have to give the field string a name. So I'll call this bibref. And then you can see below the system has copied the tag. There's blank indicators and there's the data, which is in subfield A. And all I have to do then is click on create. And it confirms created the field string bibref. The field string is stored in the toolbox. You'll find the toolbox over on the left. I'm going to click on it now. And you can see in the toolbox there are four tabs, constant data, customized scripts, script packages, and strings. I'm open to the strings tab now. And I'm going to click on field for field strings. And there is the field string I just created. I can also create a field string right from the toolbox by clicking on new field string. I'll give this a name. And then I'll enter the tags 650 tab over to the second indicator zero and then I'll enter the data. And when I'm finished, I'll click on create. And if you don't see the field string appear right away, you can click the refresh icon here, and there it is. Now to insert a field string in a record, I'm going to open another bibliographic record, and I'll click on the title, and then I'm gonna scroll down. So I'm gonna click on the green circle to create another row. And then again, I'm gonna right click and select field, and this time I'll select insert field string. And then I have to search for the field string. So I can search by the name of it. I can search by the tag. I can search by the data in the tag. I've just searched for bib and it's come up. I'm just gonna click on it to select it. I'll close out that little dialog box and you can see it has inserted the field string in the blank row that I created. Now, when you just want to save a phrase or maybe just one subfield, instead of creating a field string, you can create a text string. One way to create a text string is while you're viewing a record. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to highlight subfield B here, just the text, Russell H. Conwell Foundation. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to field and create text string. And then I have to give the text string a name and I'll click on create. And the system confirms created the text string Russell Conwell. Next, I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'll click on the strings tab and then I'll click on text. And there's my text string that I just created. And like field strings, you can also create a new text string here from the toolbox. You just click on new text string, then you would give the text string a name and input the data that you want to save. Now I'm going to apply the text string to another record that I have. Let's say that I'm actually creating a new record. So I'll go ahead and open up a work form for a book. 
And let's say this is a note that I want to add. So I'm going to put in here a 590 note. And then I'm going to type partially funded by. And then I'll right click and go to field and insert text string. And then I'll search for my text string. And when it appears, I just click on it to select it and it's inserted. I do have to put the extra space there after by or the space between the words there. Now, when you need to insert more than just a single field or a phrase, you might use constant data. Constant data can include multiple fields, subfields, and or fixed field elements. And you can apply constant data to new or existing WorldCat records. And finally, you can apply fixed and or variable fields from a constant data record. You can create constant data from a work form, from an existing constant data record, or from a bibliographic record. To create a new constant data record from a work form, I'll click on Toolbox on the left navigation. I'm on the Constant Data tab right now. For the data type, I'll leave it set to Bibliographic, although you could also create constant data for local holdings records. And you can see the existing constant data records that I have in the list below. You can also filter by constant data record name or by my status, if you've assigned that to a constant data record to retrieve those. To create a new constant data record, I'll click on new record. Then for the format, I'll leave it set to RDA. For the material type template, I'll leave it set to book, and then I'll click on create. When you save your constant data record, default values for the fixed field elements in the leader and the 008 will be saved, although you can choose whether or not to apply these. If you want to edit the leader and the 008, you can click on the triangle. For example, I'm going to change the encoding level to blank for full level and the descriptive cataloging form I'll set to I. And then I'll click Done to save that. And for the 008, I'll also click to expand that. For the type of date publication status, I'm going to select S for single date. And then I'm going to click on Done to save the 008. You can simply type in the tags, indicators, and the data in any of the fields that you want to be saved in your constant data. You can also insert text strings and field strings. For example, let's say I want to insert a field string that I have saved that says title from container. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to just delete the tag here since I'm inserting a field string. And I'm going to right click, then go to field, insert field string. And then I have to search for it. So I have it saved as a 500. And there it is. I'll click on it to select it. And it's been inserted into that line. If I want to insert another field string below that, I can click the green circle to add a row. And then again, I'll right click and then I'll select field, insert field string. And this time I'm going to search by a 590. You can search by the tag or any of the words in the data or the name of the field string as you've saved it. And so here it is, part of the alumni donations collection. And next, I'm going to insert a text string. So I'm simply going to type in the tag here, 650, with a second indicator of 0. And then I'm going to right click. And I'll go to Field. And this time, I'll select Insert Text String. And then here, I'm going to search for the text string that I've saved which is subfield X law and legislation. I'm just going to search for the word law. And you can see it's right there, subfield X law and legislation. I can reformat the constant data record by going to the record menu. I'll select reformat. But keep in mind, reformat will not delete unused fields and subfields. So you will want to delete anything that you don't want saved to the constant data record. 
so that existing fields won't be overwritten if you're applying the constant data to an existing WorldCat record. So I'll go ahead and delete any of the fields that I don't want saved. And then I'll click on Save Record. And I have to give my constant data record a name. So I'm going to call this alumni. And for my status, I'll enter my initials. And I can select Make it the default. And it will appear at the top of the list when I go to Apply a Constant Data Record. And then I'll click on Save. When you apply bibliographic constant data, either to an existing WorldCat record or to a record you're creating, maybe from a work form for a new WorldCat record, keep in mind that non-repeatable fields will be replaced by fields in the constant data. Repeatable fields will be added from fields in the constant data. So it's important to preview the record when you're applying constant data to an existing WorldCat record so that you're not overwriting fields unintentionally. So I'm going to apply my constant data to a new record that I'm going to create. So I'm going to click on Create Record. And then I'll select the format RDA, the material type template book. Notice that I could apply the constant data record right here before I click on Create. And you can see the one I just created, Alumni, is my default. And it's right there at the top. But I'm going to wait and first create the work form. And then I'll apply the constant data so that I can preview it. So I'll click on Create. And here's my work form for my new bibliographic record. And up on the Record menu, I'll go to the Bibliographic Constant Data menu. And then I'm going to select Apply and Preview Constant Data. The constant data record that's my default will be on the top. There it is, Alumni. And I have a drop down with my other constant data records available. What you see on the left is the preview of my work form with the constant data applied. And in this case, the default is to apply the fixed and variable fields. And you see on the right side of the screen the actual constant data record that I just created called alumni. So if I scroll, you can see those variable fields have been added to my work form. And you would also see that the Elements that I added to the leader and the 008 have also been added. Now you can choose to apply just fixed fields or just variable fields by selecting that from the drop down. And if I wanted to choose a different constant data record, I could just select it from the list. So to apply this constant data record to my work form for my new WorldCat record, I would just simply click on Apply Constant Data. And the system confirms applied the constant data record alumni. And if I click on details, you can see the fields that have been added. And also, it says that it has updated the leader and the 008. If you have questions or need additional help, please go to help.oclc.org. From there, you can find documentation and training. And you can also click Contact OCLC Support for contact information for support in your region.